हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज आर फर्स्ट लेक्चर अबाउट लिंग्विस्टिक्स सो लेट्स बिगिन विद इंट्रोडक्शन टू लिंग्विस्टिक्स बिकॉज इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट बिफोर वी प्रोसीड वी अंडरस्टैंड वॉट द टर्म लिंग्विस्टिक्स मीन एंड वॉट डू लिंग्विस्ट डील विद ओके सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द डेफिनेशन लिंग्विस्टिक्स is a scientific study of language now can you think of why we are calling linguistics a scientific study it is so because there are lots of proven facts structures and observations about the language that linguists deal here now when we are saying language we do not refer to any specific language we are not talking about either french spanish german urdu but we are talking about languages in general it can be even those languages that you haven't heard of before like some of the tribal languages okay so now what is the key function of language the key function of language is to communicate we use language to communicate to people around us or to express our thoughts ideas or even emotions and every language has grammar and some grammatical rules that are expected to be followed by the speakers or the writers of that language now here's a fun fact it is said that linguists make these rules of grammar that one should abide by while conversing in that language but you know what's the truth the truth is that linguists do not prescribe us how we should speak or what should be the correct pronunciation of some words rather linguistics is a descriptive field it studies and talks about linguistic phenomena as they are existing or as they were existing before and how those pre-existing forms have changed evolved or have got impressions with the passage of time now here are some main questions that linguistics deals with and those linguists tries to answer and these are language production linguists can tell you how we produce the language how we articulate each and every sound each and every word then then when we shift from words to the sentences we deal with structures of sentences so how does our brain put together these sentences and help us form the correct structure and how we acquire new languages or for that matter a baby an infant who doesn't know any language learns or acquires to communicate in the mother tongue of that child at the very first place linguist also tries to answer the questions about language history that is where do our languages come from which languages are our ancestors and how we have come to our current languages and what were the influences that brought us to our current language now when we say that linguists deal with so many languages it is possible that linguists might be able to speak in many foreign languages but that is not the main goal rather it is that they are interested in breaking that language apart 
and then figuring out by joining those small pieces and understand how that language is how that language that they are working on actually works and understand its structures and grammar now that we have clearly understood what does the term linguistics mean and what are the roles of a linguist let's look at the five fields of linguistics these fields are phonetics phonology morphology syntax and semantics phonetics it studies the speech sounds of human language it deals with physical properties of these sounds now when we are saying physical properties of the sounds we mean that when we are speaking or producing the sounds what all articulatory organs are involved and how they function and help us in the production of those sounds the three main processes that are involved in phonetics are auditory reception physiological production and neurophysiological perception the speech sounds that we are studying in linguistics are always represented using written symbols the next field that we are now going to talk about is phonology phonology studies the way sounds function it deals with structure of sounds stress pattern syllable and intonation while we are dealing with phonology it is very important that we understand what are phonemes phonemes are smallest sound units when each phoneme is put together it forms a word which has a meaning but if we look at different phoneme at individual level they are not meaningful for example in the word bag b a g these are the three phonemes in this word bag and these phonemes are different they do not inherit meaning individually but when we put these three phonemes together they form the word bag which means an object that we carry to store things the next category is morphology morphology is the study of word and their formation the word morpheme refers to the smallest meaningful linguistic unit for example in the word unavailable if we remove the affixes un and able we will be left with avail avail here is a morpheme which has a meaning and the affixes that we joined to form the word unavailable do not have a meaning in isolation rather they are dependent on the word avail here to derive the meaning the next category is syntax we know that each language has its own structure of sentence and syntax helps us to understand those structure better to form sentences in those languages so we can say that syntax deals with the structure of language in a very systematic way the next and the final field that we are going to talk about is semantics semantics deals with the meaning of words and phrases there can be some sentences that are grammatically correct but still they are meaningless 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स लुक एट नॉम चॉम्सकीज फेवरेट सेंटेंस द कलरलेस ग्रीन आइडियाज स्लीप फ्यूलेस फ्यूरियसली इन दिस सेंटेंस वी कैन सी दैट इट इज परफेक्टली ग्रामेटिकल बट वेन वी आर ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट द मीनिंग ऑफ द सेंटेंस we will find that it is a meaningless sentence so semantic helps us to ensure that the sentence that is grammatically correct has also a meaning that it is that it is dealing with